Welcome back. Today we're going to look at a continuation of a previous tutorial I've done about piano runs and fills. And I'm going to teach you how to play the introduction that I just played. Uh, you're going to see that it's not as difficult as it might seem at first. Basically, I've been following a single simple pattern. Let me teach you the pattern. Uh, for that, let me start with the first chord. So what I'm actually playing here is an arpeggio of the C chord. I start out with the bass in my left hand. So C and C. And then with my right hand, I play the C major chord. And I play it the following way. And the thumb plays the G. First finger, uh, sorry, second finger plays C. And fourth finger plays E. And then the left hand does exactly the same, but just one octave higher. So G, C, E, played with my fifth, second, and first fingers. And then my right hand, once again, climbs one octave again, adds the G, and goes back down. Now, when I get down, I actually play the shape up from G to G and then move on to the second chord. So in slow motion, what I'm doing is this. And then it's on to the next chord. So in fast motion, it would be... Now, this basically means that this is the pattern that you're going to follow with all of the chords in these arpeggios. The second chord is an A minor. And for the A minor, I play uh, this shape. So the bass in the left hand is from A to A. Then the ascending shapes basically are made out of this shape. This is the A minor chord. So I'm playing the A, C, and E with my first, second, and fourth fingers. And I climb up all the way to A and then climb back down. And then the last shape just repeats up. So played fast. Next shape is a, an F major chord, so an F for the double bass, and then this shape, which is actually looks like kind of the A minor shape. This is an F major chord in the root position. I'm playing an F, A, and a C. G major. And once again, it's just the same shape moved one unit up. So I'm playing a G major, which is a G, B, and D. you string all of these fast together, you get the, the shape, you know, the arpeggio that you heard at the beginning of the video. For the second part of the, the arpeggio pattern that I played, I'm simply playing the chords, but going up. So I'm playing a C. same shape that I started out with, just repeat it with the left, then again with the right, and all the way up to G. Second shape is an A, A major. Actually for the bass I use a C sharp, and 
then I play the A major with my um, right hand. So that's an A, C sharp, and an E. You can play it with the thumb, second, and third fingers, or thumb, second, and fourth fingers, whichever is more convenient for you. So I'm playing it right hand, an octave above with the left hand, and an octave above with the right hand again, and I terminate at A. Next shape is a D minor. A, D, and F. Next shape is a B. And for the bass I use a, a D sharp. And the right hand I play a B, a D sharp, and an F sharp. Then an E minor. B, E, and G. After climbing up with the E minor chord, uh, I land on the F major chord, in which I'm playing C, F, and A with my left hand, and C, F, A, C with my right hand. Then I climb down the F, the C major uh, scale. So I'm just playing the C major scale. I'll just play uh, it slowly so you can follow my fingers. <coughs> I'm playing C, B, A, G, F. Then I turn over with my third finger. Continue going down. E, D, C. Turn over with my fourth finger. Third finger, fourth finger. So I just play it fast from the top from C. And for the last two chords, I play... This is an F minor 6, so I'm playing F, A flat, C and D with my right hand. And an A flat bass with my double bass with my left hand. Then I move the bass one, sorry, two semitones up to B flat. And then end with a C major chord. It can actually be any variation of this, any inversion uh, or variation of the C major chord that you'd like to use. For example, this would work as well. Just playing a C bass with my left hand and then C, E, G, C with my right. That's it. I hope you've learned something about constructing fast runs. I suggest you experiment with your own patterns for going up and down the piano. Uh, usually you can make simple chords sound good if you just do it with the right pattern and you practice the fluidity and speed of the transitions. That's it. I hope you learned something interesting. It's good for impressing your friends at the bar. It's not always uh, of practical value when playing pop songs, but it's still a nice trick to have up your sleeve. See you next time.